Okay, so now we're going to do 373, and we're just writing the equations for the circuit. We don't need to solve. We don't need to solve. We're just writing the equations for the circuit. So I'm going to show you a different method, another way to do this problem. Okay. So we want to look at the resistances of all the loops. So for example, the resistance of 1, 1, that's all the resistors in the loop 1. So we have 10, 10, and 10. So we have 10 plus 10 plus 10, which equals 30. Okay. And now we do all the resistors in the loop 2. So we have 10, 10, 10, 10. Four of them. So that is 40. In loop 3, loop 3, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that is 50 ohms. And then lastly, in 4, we have 2. 1, 2, and so that's 20 total ohms. Now we take a look at the connection between 1 and 2. So between 1 and 2, 1 and 2 here, and we write this as a negative. So it's got to be a negative 10, negative 10. And between 1 and 3, 1 and 3, we just have this one, which is negative 10. It must be a negative, negative. And between 1 and 4, 1 and 4, there is nothing. So that is 0, 0 there. And then we continue on between 2 and 3. Between 2 and 3. And we write that as a negative. That is negative 10. And between 2 and 4, 2 and 4, there is no resistor. So that is 0. And then the last one, R, uh, two, oh, is that it? Uh, no, three and four, resistor three and four. In between three and four, there's just one, which is negative 10. So we are going to construct a matrix here where this is R11, R22, R33, and R44. Four, four. And this is R12. This is R13, R14, and R21, R31, R41. So we can fill this all out if we want. Uh, 2, 3, R, 2, 4, R, 3, 4, R, 4, 3. Okay. All right. And then if we multiply these by the current, I1, I2, I3, and I4, right, we have, remember, V equals I times R, and this is equal to, then, we have the voltage uh, 1, V2, V3, V4. Okay, V equals IR. So if we take a look at this here, V1 is 15. 
So we put 15 in for V1. 15 in for V1. V2, V2 here, we put in, we have, if we go around V1, it is po it's negative 10 or positive 10 and negative 10. So 10 minus 10 is zero. So that is zero here, zero. And V3, we have negative 10 and negative 15. Um, we'd write those as positive. So that should be 10 plus 15. That's 25, 25, 25, 25. So that's positive 25. And then lastly, it goes from positive to negative. That is a negative 10. Negative 10. So negative 10. Okay. And we can, these over here, this is equal to R, R21. And this is equal to R31. And this is equal to R41. Equal to R32. R42. And equal to R43. So we can fill out this matrix now. Let's. Race this. Okay, well. Okay. So we can fill this out. So we have 30, negative 10, negative 10, zero, negative 10, 40, negative 10, zero, negative 10, negative 10, 50, negative 10, and then 0, 0, negative 10, 20. So these are just these values here. And we put those into this equation here. And we can solve this if we want. This is ax equals b. And we know that x is then equal to a inverse b. And this can then be solved using this method very easily. It can be solved by a computer very easily.